I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity last summer to travel to a very unique place in the southern part of North Carolina's Outer Banks. The Outer Banks has gained a lot of attention recently from all the popularity from the TV show called The Outer Banks. The only way to get to this little special island is by ferry. You hop on board a ferry from either Hatteras Island or Marsh Island, and you travel over to Ocracoke Island. Once you arrive on the island, all roads lead to a little harbor on Silver Lake. Silver Lake is home to some amazing homes, wonderful food, and some awesome water activities like parasailing or renting a boat. Boating, fishing, sailing, well, they're all primary focuses of the island and always have been. Even Blackbeard the pirate favored the island, which he eventually died on. You'll notice his flag is everywhere on the island. Ocracoke is also home to an absolutely stunning lighthouse. I love the history of old lighthouses. They usually have a really incredible story, and the Ocracoke Lighthouse is no different. The Ocracoke Lighthouse is the oldest operating light station in all of North Carolina. Ocracoke Inlet was first placed on the map by English explorers who wrecked on the island in 1585. Back then, the island was called Pilot Town. Ocracoke Inlet was, well, it was the only reasonable waterway for ships accessing local ports in the area, so ship traffic became very heavy. Due to all the changing sandbars that today they're constantly dredging to keep open, early settlers declared a lighthouse was absolutely necessary for safe travel in 1794. The original lighthouse was constructed on Shell Castle Island. However, fittingly, the lighthouse and the keeper's house were destroyed by lightning right about the same time. It was decided to build another lighthouse at a different location, at the location that it is today. In 1822, for $50, the federal government purchased two acres where Ocracoke Lighthouse now stands. Massachusetts builder Noah Porter finished the lighthouse in 1823 for a total cost of $11,359, which included a one-bedroom small keeper's house. This may be the only time in history that our government did something for under budget because they had budgeted $20,000. The lighthouse still stands today at 75 feet tall with a diameter of 25 feet at the bottom. The walls are solid brick, five feet thick at the bottom, tapering to two feet thick on the top. It's not accessible by the public because of the stairway that's inside, but you can tour the base of it and see the keeper's house. Ocracoke's a very small community with amazing people and awesome businesses, as well as a ton of incredibly interesting history. The Ocracoke Lighthouse still stands guard of the island and is a really awesome site with a lot of history and a great story. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll catch you on the next video.